Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. We have one more software update. It's always nice to have a software update day, isn't it? I'm going to do a very quick video with this one. This is 2020.48.35.5. So we have one more dot update and we're going to go through what the release note says. I don't think there'll be too much new, but hey, this is the first software update of 2021. And let's look at what this says. Okay, going into the release notes, we can see that to view current and uh, previous release notes, you go into this um, release notes feature. Next one is Battle of Polytopia. The next one is Cat Quest. And then it is Solitaire. So not much has changed, to be honest. I hope the uh, cabin heating problem has been fixed with this one. Driving visualization improvements, same as before. The scheduled departure improvements, so you can set up uh, the rates, uh, off-peak rates and so on and so forth. Uh, all these are there in my previous video and there is uh, miscellaneous vehicle information so not much has changed to be honest so let's do a autopilot run of Wollongong uh, and let's see what are the improvements that have happened there is that particular problem uh, near Albion Park where there is uh, a traffic light which always bothers autopilot All right, time is 8.16 a.m. and we are going to start our autopilot run right now. So, there you go. The traffic light visualization is amazing. This is sort of an inclined road, you see? And the car navigates this beautifully. Keeps to its lane. Knows that there is another car next to it in the parallel lane. I have just turned from a right turn traffic light and that is why I am on this side of the road. I am going to go off to the left side. Don't call me a right lane hugging coon. There you go. It changed lanes beautifully. In previous versions, in the 2020 versions of Autopilot on the Model X and Model S, this particular turn is a bit of a bother for Autopilot. Because you can see it's an incline and there is a turn as well. So this always bothers the autopilot, but not anymore. Right from the previous uh, holiday update, this particular turn is taken care of. It does this turn perfectly, it negotiates this turn perfectly. Now I'm going to go back to the other lane. It knows that there's a car very close by, so it does not want to change the lane. And once it's clear, it changes lane without a problem. There is a yellow light, so the car comes to a halt just before the stop line perfectly. Now autopilot is unable to proceed it says so take over. So I'm going to take over for a few seconds and then re-engage autopilot and see what happens there. Yep, autopilot still on. It becomes 80 there, you tap on that 80 and the car changes its speed to 80 kilometers an hour. Now here there's one more issue. You see there's one more one more turn. The shoulder has a double line. The car definitely recognizes the line and stays within its boundaries. Very, very beautiful. There's a bridge just up there. You can see the bridge right now. That bridge does cause a few phantom breaking events uh, early in the morning, like right about now, about uh, 8.30 or so. There are a few times when I've had some Phantom Lane here. Not Phantom Lane, but we do watch Phantom Lane every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Next week, we're going to start our 2021 show uh, and we are really excited. But the Phantom Breaking events I'm talking about, no Phantom Breaking now, both under the bridge without a problem. You see a cyclist up ahead, See the cyclists come up there only briefly and then it went away now this is an interesting road as well a double lane road becomes a single lane road because i'm going to uh, go and uh, um, uh, join the princess highway uh, in just a bit the car has become more human uh, in this in this uh, autopilot update i must say it's less jittery, it's really good. I need to join this lane now. 
Let's do that. Now this usually is a hundred kilometers an hour road, but um, now because of all the road works that's going on, it's become 80. But even so, the car recognizes that 80 and stays under the access speed limit. Very good. Now up ahead on the left, there is a small parchment of land just next to the hungry tax. We just want to pass that in one moment. Now you can see it on the left. That is the uh, land that is vacant. Will that be the Wollongong supercharger? I wonder, I wonder. I think it'll be more upstream on this road uh, near Ferry Meadow because that will service both the Picton crowd and the Sydney crowd. Maybe it won't come this far, but um, that's a vacant piece of land next to Hungry Jacks. There are facilities there. There's, there are toilets um, in the Hungry Jacks and in the servo there. Maybe, just maybe, that may be the next Wollongong supercharger. Now up ahead, this is the uh, spot where I told you that there is the issue. We're going to see. I'm not keep going. To, I'm not going to override this. I'm going to keep driving. Keep watching. Keep watching. You can see those traffic lights. They're actually for the road that turned right, but the car thinks that it's for itself and it says it's going to stop. Now, now I'm going to override. I'm going to press on the pedal and it still wants to stop. 25 meters, zero meters. It says this is a recurring problem. This has not been solved in this software update either. It has happened in all software updates of the past and it's still there it is a lingering problem so the car thinks that that traffic light which is for the traffic which is turning right uh, into albion park is for itself and wants to slow down at that spot but otherwise this run has been reasonably smooth the lane keeping the distance keeping all of them work fine and uh, i'm sure you're watching that uh, the uh, traffic light visualization is pretty good too so far, so good. If there's a lead car in front, the car behaves perfectly. In the previous traffic light, you saw that uh, the car stopped for the yellow light and the red light perfectly, although the car in front wanted to go uh, across that yellow line. I mean, they're within their rights to do it. Uh, but uh, having said that, uh, the Model 3 perfectly responded to those two traffic lights there. There's a lead car in front, so I don't have to intervene. The car will just go across this green light. Let me nudge this a little bit further so that people don't get angry that I'm being slow or something. Now just up ahead, this 70 kilometers will become 60 kilometers and we'll see if the car recognizes that. Look at them all bins. Ta-da! Okay, we're coming up on that 60 kilometers an hour speed limit there. We're coming up on that 60 km speed limit, 70 here. All right, it's south at 60, it recognizes 60, let's go down to 60. We still have a green, but there's no lead car, so I had to press on the accelerator. There's a car turning into this road. It recognizes that car perfectly. And they want to go to the opposite lane as well. Look at that. How good is that? Now there's no lead car so I had to press on the stock for it to nudge across this green light. Now there are parked cars but the parked cars are not recognized. Only the cars inside the lane are recognized. Now this is a bit of a contrast uh, to the uh, beta FSD that we see. All the videos that are out there, all our uh, American friends, oh their videos are just phenomenal. I love them all. I watch them all. They're quite a lot of entertainment. Um, and it's amazing to see how the car is iteratively becoming better and better. Now there you go, There's the, that car went all across the lanes and went through. Uh, and the car just slowed down a few seconds and then went forward again. Pretty good. Now it becomes 70 from 60. It recognizes the 70 and go. Okay, there's no lead car so I have to press on the stock to override that. pretty good run till now loads and loads of bins I've been seeing this visualization for a fair while now but even so it gets me every time it's really good
It's really good. It sees the bins, it sees the position of the bins. Some of them had, had flopped down. It shows them all. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. This Autopilot Hardware 3.0 computer is phenomenal, I must say. Okay, one more time. I have to override that. And there's an off ramp coming. Let's see if the off ramp goes forward without a problem. Navigate on autopilot is enabled here. Okay, it turned down the indicator by itself. It took the off ramp absolutely like a champ. Pretty good, isn't it? And yes, that's all because we've taken the off ramp. The navigate on autopilot is disabled. Now I'm going to turn uh, into uh, Shell Harbor. I have some errand to perform there. But thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been a fantastic autopilot run. The first autopilot run in Wollongong for 2021. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you like my video, please click on that subscribe button and click on that like button as well. And um, if you are in the lookout for a sexy of your own, an S3, X or Y, kindly consider using my referral code. My referral code is linked to the hire car that I offer via av.com.au x Canberra. If you use my referral code, those supercharger credits will go to that car and I'll be able to offer free supercharging for that hire car for the life of that car. Until I see you guys in another interesting video, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.